come out victorious on that day? Uh, you know, again, um, it's a huge challenge for us. Um, they they do a great job offensively, and they got a, they have a lot of really good players, and their quarterback is elite. Um, but we have to play to our standard. Uh, that's what we that's what we preach all year. You know, do what we do, do it to the best of our ability. Um, play with great technique, great fundamentals. Uh, we want to make sure we play you know, play smart football. Uh, we have to play fast, um, and we we have to play physical. I mean, that's that's what we do. And, and, we're never going to look at the scoreboard. We're just going to play the next play, and we'll add it up at the end. What would you relate as far as this team versus any other team that maybe have similar character? Uh, you mean comparing Oklahoma yes. to other teams? Yes. Uh, I, I think that their quarterback is just he's just a special guy, and he makes a lot of things happen. Uh, he's an elite competitor. He reminds me of Brett Favre. Um, in a lot of ways because he can make all the throws, he plays with tremendous toughness, and he can improvise, um, put a lot of pressure on, on your defense, and um, he creates big plays uh, for them. And he's a, he's a leader, and his, and his, his offensive guys seem to play for, for him. And so, um, you know, that's, you, you don't see guys like that every day, and you don't see teams um, like this every week. No. How difficult is it to keep him in the pocket? Excuse me? How difficult is it to keep him in the pocket? It is very difficult. Um, we always preach, preach coordinated pass rush, uh, making sure that we have you know level rush on, on the edges and uh, good balanced pocket push in the middle to try to keep the quarterback in the pocket and all of the, the coverages and the pressures that we have. Um, and that's, that's discipline. Um, but we also have to be aggressive in, in, in doing that. Kirby One of the does you keep saying you know, on, on the tape is he, you know, he gets the pressure from the outside, then he starts to go in the middle, and you think he's going to run, and then he stops short of the line of scrimmage, and by then somebody's free. So, yeah. You know, what's the unique challenge of that particular part? Well, uh, that unique challenge is, is, you know, really we show our players those plays during the week. And we try to simulate those plays as, as much as we can in practice. And so um, from a coverage standpoint, um, we make sure that our players are disciplined in knowing that they have to cover as long as it takes. And that could be 10 seconds, because 10 seconds is 10 seconds. And we're not going to come out of coverage until the quarterback crosses the line of scrimmage. And we understand that when he does scramble, um, he is looking to throw, right? and so that's 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 important. Um, we also know that um, if there's if, if no one's open, he will run, okay? and he will run to make you miss. Um, he will run to try to run you over, and he'll also slide. You know, so he's unique. And he's he's unique in that way. So it puts a lot of pressure on us. But um, everything that we have in our package is sound. From a pass rush line standpoint, everything we have in our coverage uh, package is sound. Why is he so hard to get to the ground? Because he he's strong. Yeah. He's strong and he's tough, and he's a he's a um, he's a high level uh, competitor. Uh, his competitive toughness, uh, his CT scores is off the charts. You know, uh, Kirby doesn't hide the fact that he's a micromanager. You know, he's obviously he's talking to people when they come off the field on the field. Uh, but he's very, um, seems deliberate about saying this, this is not my defense, this is Mel Tucker's defense. Can you just talk about that dynamic of working with a defensive coordinator? Obviously you came with him from Alabama and whatever latitudes he gives you in terms of, of running that defense. Yeah, I mean, I've worked with uh, defensive head coaches before. And so um, I, I, really, I really enjoy that because when you work um, with a head coach that understands yeah. defenses and understands understands the challenges that you have as a coordinator, I, th I think it helps. And I think it's always good to have an extra set of eyes. Um, you know, in the NFL, there's a, uh, you can have as many coaches on your staff as you want. And so the, the, the full-time staff, uh, guys, they're usually huge. And so really the student-to-teacher uh, student ratio is, 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 is favorable in the NFL. Well. In the college game, um, you know, there's a limited amount of full-time coaches that you can have, and so we need as many um, expert eyes, you know, on our players uh, as we can get. And so
So for Kirby to be hands on, I welcome that. You know, we've got a, we've got a lot of players. We try to coach all of our guys. We have a developmental program, and so it's really all hands on deck. We work very very uh, closely together. Um, there's mutual mutual respect um, between Kirby and myself. Um, you know, I just really I just really enjoy being around him as a person, and I think I think that also carries over to our staff. Um, we have tremendous chemistry on our staff. Everyone works together. Again, it's shared responsibility. And if you have a tight knit staff that works together, is always on the same page, um, then that that translates to you, that that translates to, to the players. And so um, I think that's that's one of the advantages that we have. Um, this is Gary G with the Inland Valley News reporting.